Okay, guess they do one just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see you're not mine. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be leveling up the um, Legend Pass monster to level 100, and we're gonna test them out in battle. And that's the monster that uh, the monster that I'm talking about is Guy Digo. You guys know this one right here. Um, I pronounce it Guy Digo. I'm not sure how you guys pronounce it, and and sometimes I have uh, I just call him Guy or something. Um, that's how, what I call it. Apparently, 22 minutes, three gems. I'll just pay the three gems. Oh, mm, why couldn't you give me the three, uh, the third moon slot for free, please? Uh, that's all right. Why would you place it there? I have three or four mythic avatars here. All right, let's uh, place them near armor claw and cat. And let's see. What is this ultimate like? Uh, okay. I thought it would be better, but okay, that works too. Okay. Um. Anyways. He's the 688th mythic, apparently. We're gonna name him Terrainer. How's that? I feel like I could have came with something better, but Terrainer is um interesting. All right. <laughs> okay, let's get him to level four now, and that's his uh, last form. That's what he looks like. Finally, um, looking interesting. Looking pretty interesting. That's what he does right there. Okay, he just breaks and makes an earthquake. All right. We unlocked um, Daze to all enemies, quicksands already. Um, activating cooldown on all enemies, or on one enemy actually, um, on fourth skill. Interesting. It's actually pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get it to level 100. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and does he have any skins or is the tiny monster or tai the only one that has a skin in the past i believe tai is the only one right here we go level 100 nice okay let's change the skills now let's change the skills so this one uh actually i'll cool down on all enemies i normally have those type of skills on my third slot because it's just i just do i don't know i just do um apply total damage reduction to twice on one enemy activate um all cooldowns on one enemy this type of skill would probably be my second choice let's see what else we have here timeout okay removes all negative um status effects and applies precision to itself it could be useful it could be useful in some um some situations i feel like i should have wait hold on i should have it on my fourth one and then the first one should be this one right here. Yeah. Well, you could literally just make him an attacker. But I feel like he'd be um, better as applying cooldowns and stuff like that. Total damage reduction. This is like the master of total damage reduction kind of. Or one of them. Okay so this is the skills that I have on by the way. If you guys want to go ahead and um, go with these skills you can. Um, so he has an evolving trade. Immune to burning first. Rank 1 is Demon. So Demon... Is it immune to burn and ignite? Okay, so it's an upgrade. Rank 3 is um, self stun immunity. Cool, but for how many turns? Oh, it doesn't have any turns, so it's basically. And mega stun as well? Cool, I like that. So strength is 5,368, life is 60,320, speed is 4,807, stamina is 180. Cool, alright, well, um, from his skills apparently, so he just does some damage, he applies total damage reduction. Activating cooldown, damage, total damage reduction again. Activating all cooldown all enemies, and removing some stuff as well. Um, oh boy, I feel like I should change the timeout skill to something better, to like um a skill that does damage, like this one right here. I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and give him one speed. Since he's a mythic, mythics are pretty good, right? So I'm gonna give him um, one of my high speed, I guess. Even though I do have a level nine, but I'm gonna save that for now, uh, for a better mythic. Uh, strength level five. Okay. All right. Well, I am actually gonna give him some relics real quick. He will be very useful with relics. Let me go ahead and use that. Um, for traps and stuff, I do need to use that. Kahaku. I'm gonna have to apply that now on him. All right. Let's go up against um, 105 Barbell. There is 110 Marks as well. And 100 Faraday. I don't know which Faraday it is actually. Which Faraday is it? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> but okay, let's go in and fight. Let's go in and trade the Sable. 
Also trade the Sable on this guy. And finally trade the Sable on the other guy as well. Just like that. There we go. Turn transfer to Guy Deagle. To ha he's going to have two turns now. So first, I'm going to go ahead and activate all cooldown on all monsters. Do some damage as well. Pretty good. Now they have to recharge. This one applies Daze and does some damage as well. So they're going to have to charge now. Yeah. Not going to lie, the monster is pretty good so far. The monster is pretty good. Hmm. I'll probably just recharge. Half death, but let's go ahead and use it on. I mean, I could save him for last, actually. He's... I don't know. <laughs> let's try to get rid of Tasade. Not Tasade, what's his name? Faraday. Alright. See? 100% uh, damage reduction helped right there. It actually helped right there, so... Nice. That was nice. Okay. I just I'm just trying to get the extra turn, so I use those two just to get the extra turn, and also get rid of the, um, I think that was sunburn or something. So this one activates all cooldown on one enemy, applies total damage reduction twice on one enemy. Um, I'm gonna use that against Morks since he's going next. He recharged. Okay, we're gonna use this to get rid of Faraday. Guy Dugo is not so bad on a slay. I do like his skills. He's usable. He's definitely better than Morks, I, sh I should say. For sure. Let's go ahead and do this again so I could get another extra turn on Guy Vigo, just like that. Use this one right here, activates cooldown, and also we could get rid of Morks. Alright, let's use this one. Total damage reduction. Nice. Okay, three turns. Let's do it. Well, I have enough stamina for it, though. What happened to my relic? Oh, it already... Okay, well... It looks like I used it already. I'll go ahead and finish it off with Tan Snake, and... Not bad. So, for the first battle, it went actually very well. Although, I didn't go up against any, like, Ragnaroks or the top metas. It still did its thing, you know? The monster is pretty good. It is usable. Definitely better... Than, uh, a couple of mythics actually so I'm gonna go ahead and collect these challenge coins real quick who shall we go up against next um, loading opponents let's see let's see let's see oh 110 armor claw 110 mercs and 110 soul hugger so I'm not sure if soul Hug I feel like soul hugger is not a mega taunt but we're gonna see if he is or not it doesn't matter anyway because oh yeah because I thought one of his skill actually applied um, Mega Taunt, but apparently it doesn't. He does have Taunt, I believe, though. Use that. Use this. Get the extra turn. Armor Claw and everyone else is gonna have cooldowns now. And after that, I can go with Jay's real quick. Sand Snake, nice. Okay, remember to subscribe doesn't have any cooldowns, so... Nice. I should have applied damage reduction as well, but hey, we could do that next turn. Focus fusion, sure. Let's give Sky Digo some more stamina there. Let me use this against Soul Hugger. So now I can actually use the total damage reduction, by the way, on Armor Club, since he's going next. I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, see, remember, since the guy did no damage. Um, it's great using it against monsters with zero cooldown skills. Okay, they both recharge because I, of course, applied cooldowns earlier. This one activates cooldown and does um, damage reduction as well, so we can literally just use it again. And let's uh, use a skill so then I could get the extra turner. Turn transfer. Use Sand Snake or Sand Shake. We got rid of him. Armor Claw is going to do zero damage again. Guard down. And uh, a guard down hater in ultimate snag the satisfax. I think I'm good. I'll probably use this against Morgs. I do want to still play around, but oh, he was taking all the incoming damage. Okay, that shield should help out actually a little bit. Nice. Activate cooldown and it does some damage as well. Nice. Get rid of that. Two turns, huh? I'll probably just go with focus fusion. 
and use this to get the extra turner, turn transfer, and then use total damage reduction even though he does have zero um, stamina. Let's let him charge up real quick for now. And then what I can do is use total damage again. So that total damage reduction is definitely going to hit because it applies it twice. So the first time if it doesn't work, then the second time it'll do its job. Um, I'm, I could actually activate um, cooldowns again. It's very useful actually. I do like the monster. The monster, if, if he... Guys, if you use this monster against um, uh, monsters with zero cooldowns skills and stuff, like for example, Hokuai or Armor Claw, those two are the top ones so far, you can literally defeat them with this monster. Super useful monster, um, especially that he's a mythic. I'll probably actually give him better runes now that I see him in battle, like how well he does and stuff. So let's wait for the result real quick. There we go. And let's go ahead and spin this. Get some coins for the 72 challenge. And now, oh, Hokuai, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I was actually looking for that monster. Okay, there is a Megaton, so I have to see how I can do or what I can do against them. It's not really a mega taunt actually, just a taunt. But, um... Oh, I think I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm gonna charge up. Use, um, either total damage reduction. No, but he's going next, right? I'm gonna go with the cooldown. So go ahead and... Okay, he does that, but I think we're good. We should be fine. Okay. Um, Nizel is going next, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I could turn transfer actually. Let's see. Okay, so he's gonna take the next turn. It's fine. He went with deadly interrupt. I believe I have cooldowns now on my monster. Unfortunately. Oh wait, I don't. Nice. I'm gonna go with this because they have zero stamina. Oh, by the way, let me tell you this, by the way. Um, if you guys have, like, really good runes like Eeltron's Mask and stuff like that, you can actually equip it on this monster. And also, Ablation Trap. You can actually go and use it for this monster because it's gonna help you out. Look at them. They have zero stamina now. They're gonna have to recharge. I mean, that monster doesn't recharge, right? Um, or doesn't have to recharge, but all the other ones are gonna recharge because uh, they ran out of stamina. So... Here's the plan. He's gonna recharge as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use activating cooldown. So he can all the incoming damage. Okay, Gracon charged up. Focus fusion. Um I, I do wanna test this out, but I don't wanna die though. So Oh he uses ultimate. Mega freeze? Nizil died. It's okay, wait, do I have no I do not have um Oh, I wish I had my relic on. Use this. He's gonna get another extra turn. We're good and missed. Finally, get rid of the anticipation. Turn transfer. Get rid of the mega freeze. Uh, use this for now. And look, he has a zero cooldown skill, right? Zero. Um, he has that skill that apparently uh, he can attack, right? Even though he has zero stamina. So I could use this basically. Apply zero damage. I mean, I could have gotten rid of him, I know, I know that, guys. I just wanted to test that out to show you guys how this will work out. So he has to recharge. He's gonna recharge, or even if he did attack, it won't, you know, do any damage. Use this to get the extra turner. Turn transfer. Use this. Nice. He has total damage reduction as well, so if he does anything, it's not gonna work except bleeding. Effects, right? Use this. He has cooldowns now. Dude, this monster is actually amazing. <laughs> Guy, Guy's a really good monster. I'm going to use that. Okay. His rally kick then. Use this to get the extra turner. Oh wait, never mind. Next turn. Next turn it is. Turn transfer. Um, he has total damage reduction already, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with the daze. That was his last relic that kicked then, so we're good. Total damage reduction again, sure why not, let's do it. 
Focus fusion, get some stamina. And the stamina region, of course. Activate cooldown, although he does have um, 100%, negative 100% damage reduction. Oh my gosh. I wish I had, um, I wish I give him some more stamina. Or not stamina, strength. So you could have just one slapped all of these monsters. Go with this. Sand Shake, or Sand Snake, whatever it is called. It missed. Okay, total damage reduction. Take it. Get rid of the taunt. Use Focus Fusion. Use this. <laughs> Give the extra turn. Madam Fusion actually works very well with this monster, by the way. So, if you ever wanted to want to go with Guy, right? Make sure you have Madam Fusion on your team. It really does help. Man, I love the Zoro right here. <laughs> Even though it takes some time, that's because of my rune setup, right? It will get its uh, job done. So anyways, guys. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's me testing Gaijigo right there from level 1 to 100. And um, if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this monster. For me, myself, I do love the monster. Um, myself, it's pretty good. It applies total damage reduction, cooldowns and stuff. It's so good against, especially against monsters with um, zero turn cooldown skills like Armor Claw and uh, what's it called mm, Hokuai and the rest of them. You guys name it. But uh, yeah, man, I do like the monster myself. It's pretty darn cool. So definitely get it. Uh, for those of you that have the Legends Pass, man, get it. Get it done as soon as possible and use it on your team because it is pretty good. Um, soon I can get him to 120 and then it'll be all good. So, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, nice, I got gems. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.